morning you guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be a productive week in my life as a new grad nurse i actually start my first nursing job in 13 days from today i am insanely nervous because i'm literally not going to know a single soul at this hospital so everything is going to be brand new to me and also obviously i'm a new nurse so i have to learn how to be a nurse Anyways, that's not what this video is about, but just thought I would throw that in there. I actually woke up relatively early this morning. I'm proud of myself because lately I've been sleeping in until like 8, but this morning I woke up at 6.45 so I can make my boyfriend breakfast before he goes to work. Thought I'd be nice today. He works for HVAC, so he does work a 9 to 5 job Monday through Friday, so I thought it'd be nice of me to actually get up and make him some breakfast. I don't work today, but I do work a 12-hour shift tomorrow, so I'm just going to take you guys along for... A few days of my life, almost a week. Today's Tuesday, so we're starting to vlog a little bit late. But right now, I'm actually going to get my car washed before it gets too hot. It is currently 7.45 now, so let's go do that. Okay, car is clean. I just made my greens. These are the Suja greens. Honestly, not my favorite. I think I'm just not a greens powder girl. Like, I like green juice, but not greens powder. I think it's because it's, it's really grainy and it, I feel like it doesn't mix well, but I'm gonna drink it anyways because I don't want to waste it. They did actually send it to me to try out, so at least I didn't waste money on it. Anywho, I'm gonna get started on my discussion post for my BSN class for the week. It's actually week four out of five. Next week is our last week for this class, and then I go straight into another class. Basically, I'm doing all my classes back to back. I think there's no breaks for the next 10 classes, which is like 50 weeks. So yeah, that's fun. Oh, also, I wanted to mention, while I was in the car wash, I was actually listening to this podcast. It's called Girls Talk Money. I just recently started listening to it, and I get in these phases of like, being obsessed with things so right now I'm obsessed with learning about money and I've had this phase before in my life where I just become obsessed with like learning how to invest learning how to save all that stuff so yeah that's my current phase and um yesterday I actually opened a high yield savings account through Ally Bank I really like it because you can have different buckets of money so so you can make savings goals for different things like for instance if you want to save for a house if you want to save for a car or if you want to have a savings fund for vacation or just like an emergency fund like you could have different categories for all your savings and like allocate money to the different buckets which is really cool and it really scratches an itch in my brain so that's the tea and I wanted to set up the high yield savings account before I start my nursing job and start making like actual money because obviously right now as a transporter and like somewhat content creator I don't make like that much money but basically with a high yield savings account you make more interest on your savings than you would a traditional savings account which is amazing because your money is just sitting there so you want it to do something for you right so yeah that's the tea anyways let's stop being distracted and start my discussion post <laughs> I just finished making a what I bought versus what I'm making video for TikTok and these are some of the recipe cards that I made. It's kind of fun. Some of these pictures are like my own, like that one, but some are from Pinterest, like that one. Oh, I also Dysoned my hair and I made a video on that as well. I'm just pumping out the content today, but I think I'm going to run on the treadmill. Let me get better lighting. I don't know if I told you guys yet, but me and my boyfriend are planning to run a half marathon in October, which is kind of insane because I've never done that. I've never even signed up to run a 5k but his friend is actually doing it down in LA and so I thought it'd be fun if we joined too and so we've recently been like kind of getting into running I actually found this like half marathon plan on YouTube and I'll post a picture up here I got it from this girl's video and I'll leave her link down below as well because she had a really good video talking about like starting out as a beginner to train for a half marathon and I thought it was very helpful and so I've been kind of following this plan so today we're actually starting week two but I'm only doing two of the runs a week and then one long run so 
like a total of three runs instead of four that she has because I also do like hot work and I do some weight training. So I wanted to still be able to incorporate those things along with running. So I'm only doing the three runs a week. So yeah, today we are doing the run a minute, walk a minute for 30 minutes. And I think I'm gonna do that on the treadmill while I listen to my book. And what are we listening to right now? I'm currently listening to Love Theoretically. And I like the romance aspect of this. Like it's a enemies to lovers and, and like I love that. But the main character is a physicist. Physicist? Physic? Physicist. Physicist? That sounds weird. She's a physicist. So she talks a lot about like physics and I don't really understand any of that. So it's kind of hard for me to get through some of those parts. Like when she talks about her job and stuff. But other than that, I really like the book. It's just some parts are hard for me to understand. But I kind of feel like that's good to like read about something that I don't normally encounter in your day-to-day -day life. Like obviously I know a lot more about like healthcare and stuff like that. And for me, I feel like it's fun to read books like that. But sometimes I do want to like dissociate. Like I don't want to read about my job. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a good way to escape. So anyways, I'm going to go on the treadmill and probably ruin my hair. Honestly, that's fine. I've definitely been getting better at dicing my hair. I took some pictures of my hair today and I'll insert one right here because I felt like it looked really good in the sun and it looks way lighter in the sun too. Like I feel like it looks almost dirty blonde, but then right now it looks brown and this is my natural hair color. Okay, I need to stop talking and go on the treadmill. I'm distracting myself. wash my face because I'm going to do a hot cycle class at Hotworks and my camera is literally about to die but I just finished my book and it was so good the ending was just so cute I'm glad that I finished it and because I almost gave up like 20% through I was like ah, I don't know if I like this because of the whole physicist thing and like it being so sciencey but in the end I am glad that I finished it I would give it like 3.5 out of 5 I really did like the romance though it was very cute I love how the main character she was like a people pleaser and I felt like I related to her a lot so so here's a good story. Anyways, I'm gonna go to Hotworks, do a cycle class. It's only 15 minutes because literally everything else was booked tonight. So we're just doing a 15 minute workout and then I'm gonna come home and make some burgers for dinner and then go to bed because I work tomorrow, 12 hour shift. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. Let's cut this low. I'm kind of falling apart. Look at this. It actually looks really good. Mmm. No, this is good.
Good morning, you guys. I'm getting ready for my 12 hour shift as a transporter. I woke up and my throat kind of hurts this morning a little bit, so I hope I'm not getting sick, but I'm actually gonna put some of this Beekeepers Naturals Superfood Honey in my coffee. And hopefully that'll fight the sickness for me and it just won't come. That'd be great. While I do the rest of my stuff. I'm actually gonna buy lunch today because I have a little like $10 coupon for the cafe, which is nice. I'm just gonna pack some snacks. I'm gonna pack a chomp stick. One of these heavenly hunks. I love these as like a little afternoon sweet treat. I'm also gonna make some snacks for my boyfriend because this man does not eat. Like, he will literally go the whole day without eating and come home starving at 4 p.m. So, I'm gonna pack him some snacks. Because clearly, he won't do it. And then I'm also gonna pack some cashews. I love this backpack because it comes with the little lunch compartment. Even though I'm not really packing my lunch, but I'll put my snacks in here. Actually, I'm gonna bring a Celsius too. I always drink one of these like at my last break, like at like 2 p.m. or so. It actually melts it really good. And then lastly, before work, I always eat a yogurt with peanut butter and maple syrup to sweeten it. It's so easy, but it keeps me full for like, usually until like 10 a.m., which right now it's so four hours is pretty good actually I'm gonna melt it a little bit because it's very thick and then I'll just do like a little bit of maple syrup this is also really good as like a dip if you dip apples in it okay I'm gonna eat this in like literally one minute because I was supposed to leave a minute ago guys happy thursday i am so tired and i woke up my throat feels a little bit worse than yesterday so we got all the fluids and i'm gonna take some things to hopefully make it go away i don't feel like sick but i feel like that like oncoming of sickness like the tickle in my throat <coughs> and we ain't got time for that so i made my green juice i made some ginger tea and then I have these wellness formula tablets that I take when I feel like I'm getting sick. I also took these when I had COVID and I feel like they help for sure. So I'm gonna take three of these. They taste like absolute shit, like dog shit. Like they're disgusting and I hate taking them, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, they're huge. Like look at how big one capsule. I'm gonna try to do two at once because oh my God. They're so bad. I feel like I'm starting to like this green juice actually. Like it's not bad. It's just the powder stuff that I don't like. And then I'm also gonna take this propolis vitamin C and basically you just squirt it in your mouth. I've actually never tried this. I gave it to Alex when he was sick. Not bad. It's like really sweet and sour at the same time. First you're sour, then you're sweet. And then lastly I have throat spray. Four sprays. It tastes a little funky. Okay, now that that's over with. I never updated you guys on my shift last night because I was literally so tired. And also when I got off my shift, I talked to my friend on the phone for like at least half an hour. So, and I didn't get home until like 7.45. Then I talked to my friend and then I ate dinner and then I literally just went to bed. Like I was so tired. Yesterday was like the busiest shift I've ever worked in. The whole time I've been a transporter. I was working in the ER and we just got like call after call after call. Like the waiting room was packed like all day. 
It was terrible. But honestly, the shift went by pretty fast and got through it, so it's fine. I only have two more shifts left as a transporter until I start my nursing job. I'm so excited. Today is actually a hanging out with my friends day, hence why I want to feel better because I'm going with some of my nursing friends to paint me mine, which is like a pottery painting place, and we have to finish our paintings today. And then later I'm going to hang out with my like childhood best friends, and we're also gonna be painting and eating sushi. So it should be a really fun day, but I have some things to get Get done before I head out. I need to submit my discussion post for my BSN class and then start writing my essay for the week. I also need to upload a TikTok and get a workout in. I'm probably going to take it easy today though on the workout. I'm going to get started on my discussion post and essay right now. Okay, workout is complete. I just did a 20 minute upper body arm workout. It was honestly pretty easy. The only thing that was hard was the push-ups and those things called commandos where you're like in a plank and you do this. Or no, no, you're in a plank and then you go down to your forearms and then back up. I hate those. It was always burning my shoulders and my abs. Anyways, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I think I'm just gonna do a smoothie and like a piece of toast because that sounds good. I'm on my liquid shit today. This is my third beverage of the day, so let's do it. I also have a lot of frozen fruit that I need to use up, so. I think I'm gonna do like a strawberry, blueberry, banana-ish mixture. I'm also gonna do a little bit of flaxseed. And then also a piece of toast with some peanut butter. I use the Costco one. It's the best. I think I'd give this smoothie a six out of ten. I think what would make this so much better is using either coconut water or milk because I feel like the water just watered it down a little bit. That's still good. I have a problem where I chug my smoothies and get myself a brain freeze. Let's try my PB toast. Hits, as always. I'm gonna start getting ready for the day. I think I'm gonna re-blow out my hair just because I've sweat on it a few times now and I feel like it just doesn't look as good. Well, it looks kind of decent. Yeah, I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit and then do my makeup and pick out an outfit and then go paint with my friends. I'm so excited. I'm definitely still learning how to use the Dyson, but I think I've been getting a little bit better. Like, my hair's been staying better. I hate about the Dyson is how freaking loud it is. Like, I feel like I am going deaf because it's like right in my ear when I'm doing my hair. I was too lazy to wet it. It's usually better when you like have it damp, but I feel like it looks fine. Okay, now I'm gonna do my makeup really quick and get ready to leave and pick out an outfit. I'm also gonna listen to the Girls Talk Money podcast while I get ready. I'll my man, and it seems so amazing. Okay, sorry my camera died, but this is a completed makeup look. And I'll show you guys my outfit. Ignore the fact I am literally so pale right now, but it's supposed to be 80 degrees today, so I'm wearing some shorts. Not sure if I like them. I don't know. I feel like they're not the most flattering, but they're definitely, they definitely provide some coverage. Like, you can't see anything. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this fit. This flannel is my boyfriend's, and I love it, but it has a stain. Okay, I lied, I changed. I put on a pair of pants cause I wasn't feeling the shorts, but we're just doing a plain white t-shirt and this pair of pants that are like kind of capri length. Wait, let me show you. 
actually no, they kind of go all the way down. They're like wide leg pants, and I think I'm gonna wear my Supergos with them. It's kind of a boring outfit, but I like accessorize with some gold jewelry. I have some gold bracelets. One of them is from Majuri. This one is actually a forever bracelet, and then this one's from Etika. I don't really like the Etika ones though because they definitely rust a little bit. Where's the Majuri one? I've had this for like years, and I never take it off. I always wear it in the shower, and it still looks basically brand new. Like it's still gold, and it doesn't rust. So I love that. I also have my little RN necklace that my parents got me for graduation, and then this necklace. My mom actually got it in Guam, and I kind of stole it from her because she never wears it. And then my rings. This one is from Etika as well. Again, rusted a little bit, so don't really recommend, but I wear it every once in a while. And then this one I actually got in Hawaii, and I love it. It's actually handmade. It was from a flea market in Hawaii, so I love that. And then this one is from Cape Cod, and my mom got it for me for my birthday. And then my sunglasses. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I kind of stopped vlogging yesterday because I literally just forgot. And I was with my friends all day, but it was a really fun day. My social cup is definitely full. Um, I just made my greens again this morning and we're gonna take the same supplements because my throat still hurts a little bit. It's definitely not worse though, which is, I feel like good, but I definitely feel like I sound a little bit nasally. We're gonna take our vitamin C. These disgusting pills. Should I try to swallow three at once? Let's do it. I don't know if that's possible for me. Let's try. I did it. Oh my god, that kind of hurt. <laughs> okay, some throat spray. This doesn't taste very good. I don't know if I showed you guys. This is a Beekeepers Naturals. All of this is Beekeepers Naturals. And it has like propolis in it, which is what bees use to protect their hives. I actually learned this from an ad on TikTok that I saw. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But they actually sent me this stuff to try it out. So I thought I would. These though, I bought with my own money and I used these when I had COVID. That's the tea. But we've got a busy day ahead of us. I finished writing my essay today. I barely wrote any yesterday, but it should take me like an hour or so. I think I want to get a work. Out in. I was gonna go for my long run today, but since my throat is not 100%, I don't think I have energy for doing a long run. I don't know. I still haven't decided. I might just go do hot yoga or something. I also need to finish editing my YouTube video and I have to upload a brand deal for TikTok. Listening to my book, listening slash reading, The Perfect Sun by Frida McFadden. It is so good so far. I think I'm like 30% through, and I was literally hooked by the first chapter. Which usually all of Frida McFadden's books have me hooked by the first chapter. They are just so easy to read and like so suspenseful. I love them. I have a very random lunch: a leftover half of a sweet potato, some tuna salad, and half an apple. I've been loving this tuna salad lately. I just make it with mayo, lemon juice, cucumber, celery, and fresh dill. The dill is the key. The dill and the lemon juice are actually the key. They make it so good. And I like to put it on the sweet potato or just eat it with crackers sometimes. It's so good. Also, tuna salad is so filling. Like, it has so much protein. It's also really cheap and super easy to make. So, it's a win-win, you know? It is a win-freaking-win. Win. The reason I want to finish my book that I'm reading so fast is because my friend is letting me borrow this, The Fourth Wing, and so many people have recommended me to read this, but I am not a fantasy girl, okay? I tried. I haven't tried very hard. I tried to read the first Akatar book, and I tried three different times. I don't think I ever got past, like, page 30, and honestly, I was just bored and I couldn't force myself to sit down and read because like when I read I want it to be an enjoyable experience like I don't want it to be a chore I want it to be a hobby so like me reading the Akatar book I literally felt like it was a chore like I was sitting there forcing myself to read it because half the words I'm like I don't like what is that like obviously it's fantasy so it's made up like it's a made-up world but like I don't know I just couldn't get into it so my friend said that this one is a little bit easier to get into especially as someone who doesn't read fantasy this got her into fantasy so I'm gonna try it out it's very intimidating how big this is though like it's like over 500 pages that's a lot 
so we'll see i'll definitely update you guys when i start reading it the book i'm reading now though i'm like 40 percent through so i'm gonna try to finish that this weekend and then start the fourth week <laughs> Thank you.